Hello, 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 everyone. Welcome to another session here with us at Mathematics Resource Center. And today I'll just like to show you some games that you can do online with your child or you can just get them started and leave them to complete these games or to practice using these games when it comes to lowest common multiple all right one of the things is that lowest common multiple is very important when they're doing fractions and students tend to struggle with fraction because they have an issue with the lowest common multiple right or in with common multiple in general right so we're just going to look at some games that can help to cement the idea and why i'm saying games is because not every child learns the same way and some child would be more comfortable sitting in front of a computer screen and playing a game than to actually be writing on paper all right so whatever works best for your child or for you it doesn't matter the age that you're at i even find it fun to just play these games it's interesting right so whatever works best do that all right so without any further delay i'm just going to go to the game all right so i'm breaking away from my screen here and i'm going to google all right so i'm going to i'm going to open a new portal mm -hmm. and i'm just going to type in all right so i open a new portal and i am going to type in lois common multiple games right and you see some results coming up and i'm just going to go ahead and click on the first one here all right so as you can see here see if i can zoom in a bit all right Right, so see if I can scroll now. All right, let me zoom out. All right, I'm not able to scroll when I zoom in, so I'm gonna stay like that. All right, so as you can see here, it says what is the least common multiple of five and six? And uh, I am just going to put in the answer, which is 30, and select answer, and it says that's right. All right, and it gives me another, give you another one. I'm actually at level two, right? As you can see down here. Uh, I don't know if I can get. All right, so I'm actually at level two, as you can see here, because I started before. So let's just continue. And here it says, what is the least common multiple of six and three? And that's 18, so you put that in. Oh, six, oh, see? <laughs> six and three six <laughs> all right so even me made that mistake all right so it's really good practice so so what's the least common multiple of seven and four seven and four is 28 so great job all right so what's the least common multiple of seven and two and that's 14 all right so you have those amazing great job and all of that right and i think there should be some sound to this. Oh, my sound is up. Uh, all right, I'm not hearing any sound, but there should be some sound. Uh, sound. All right. So I'm not seeing any sound. All right. So let's continue. What is the least common multiple of seven and three? Here they have options now, so you can select the best, the correct option, and that's twenty-one. Correct and so this is one game all right let's look at another game so i'm just gonna come out here right and i'm coming here to the next option okay this one doesn't work for me all right uh all right so here we have one called multiples and factors 
and you can expand right good and I select multiples so you can do either multiples or fractions or factors mm -hmm. and it says here find the LCM of 2 and 10 and that is just 10 yeah got it right all right good it says find the LCM of 3 and 5 and that is 15 mm -hmm. got that right too it says here find the LCM of 4 and 10 and that is 20 good all right so let's try to get one incorrect and see what happens so let's say find the LCM of 2 and 3 and I'm just going to select 5 so we're trying to get it incorrect the correct answer is 6 but I'm going to select 5 and see what happens try again okay so it's a try again so give me one chance to try again I'm going to select 4 oh so you get you get one chance to try again and then it gives you the correct answer and you get to select next they give you two and four all right so this is actually fun i know that your son or your daughter would enjoy doing this so this is another game that you can try with them all right and you can look at other games with multiples with lowest common multiples just to boost their memory and just spend say five minutes or ten minutes doing this maybe once a day until you realize that they have built that self confidence and that build um strength in this area you can move on to another aspect but in whatever you do try to integrate some form of uh, fun activity all right i will share in another video some hands-on activities that you can do to help boost uh, the memory of uh, lowest common multiple all right until then thank you for watching with us here at Mathematics Resource Center. Bye-bye.